One. Ah, well, welcome very much. Thank you very much, guys. My name is uh, Daryl Sladden. Um, I'm the, a lot of times called the location guy. <laughs> I used to be the cube guy. I've been here at Cisco for a long, long time. Uh, I almost don't want to say how long it starts with a two. <laughs> Today is my 20th year at Cisco. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you here. This is my 20th year at Cisco. <laughs> I've gone through many different products. I'm really, very excited to, to uh, really talk more about, you know, this third sort of evolution that, we're, that I really think we're at um, in a new space. And so really what we've been focused on in this uh, portion, of the, we're not going to talk a lot because we wanted to make sure that you had lots of time for DNAC and lots of time for 5G, which is going to be the future. But really what we're going to talk about now is a little bit of our location strategy and how you know, really excited that we're kind of changing some of the stuff that we're doing. And then two of the applications that we're actually running, which is C, uh, Operational Insights and CMX Engage. And really, this, there's a couple of points about our location strategy is that really we've been focusing on using some of the best in class hardware. And this is everything from the 4800, which has the embedded hyperlocation antenna, the great MR55s uh, with the th third radios that they can do. Jivan's going to tell you exactly how good the observed location solution has been at that with that particular IP. Our 28s and 3800s have things like uh, modular adaption, so we can put modulars from, from other, other customers. We've been putting modu modules from companies such as Unilock that has that able to do, add a ultra wideband to be able to provide lots of different inputs. We have the 2800 has, has additional things such as our BLE radio that comes as a USB dongle that we're going to be delivering, so that we can have not only RSSI signal strength from Wi-Fi devices, but also from BLE devices as we add that BLE radio. So we've really got this best great hardware platform and algorithms. And so we really are very confident that we've calculated the location of billions of devices, billions and billions of times, literally with the, with the Meraki APIs, the Cisco MSCs that you've been using from 10 years ago. We've been taking those same algorithms that have been running for 10 years from the, from the location engines that many of you have deployed from the uh, you know, 1500s all the way to the 3355, to the 3365, to the 3375s, right? And we've also been taking all of that learning that we've been doing and, we, and applying it um, to some additional machine learning. And so that's really what, what's really changed in the last about 18 months is we've been grabbing all of this information and focusing as how we can continue to improve that algorithms. Things like, well, what is machine learning? Well, you realize that location is calculated here, 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 and then 500 feet away. That's an anomalous data set. You throw that away. When you have lots and lots of data, you can start doing that. The examples of Andrew Ng and um, a lot of the data scientists in machine learning are really good data sets start at a billion, <laughs> right? You really need to have lots of data. And that's what we think really we've been focusing on Cisco, getting all of this data. So we can tell you after we have a billion examples of something, when some weird anomalous thing occurs and the RSSI signal strengths that we receive that calculate a location that puts it outside of a door, right? Some weird stuff occurs, we can now start to throw that away. And that's the concept of what we do with machine learning. You can start to um, do anomaly detection much more easily. You can do what's called a grouping and clustering and figure out what groups of things are, are uh, what groups of locations make more sense. And so that's really, that's how we've been focusing on. And the fourth thing, which is really the exciting part, is that with our recent acquisition of July Systems, we now have a platform that will allow this to scale globally. And you'll see from uh, Dan, a God dashboard, which, <laughs> that will show you how we're calculating and consuming billions of location updates into a single platform and being able to use that for business intelligence. And that's really the, the, the Final part that we want to talk about is that there's lots of uses for these locations, whether it be you know, analytics to figure out where a person is and how their digital persona goes. The traditional one that everyone's been trying to solve, indoor wayfinding. Where am I? How do I find my conference room? How do, you know, a student is there on this first day at a, at a campus. How does he find his chemistry class? <laughs> right? Those are the problems that we've been looking at. We think we've solved a lot of those with our indoor wayfinding capabilities. Proximity engagements, just being able to give you a no, different notification on your phone depending on where you're physically located, right? Everyone, everyone's used to ways outdoors working. As I drive by a, a Starbucks, a, something will pop up. Uh, now, that change of experience when your phone is in a different place indoors can really occur at scale. Asset tracking and troubleshooting. These are all the traditional applications that everyone has always deployed. You're an MSC or, or CMX on-premises 
to work in a hospital to know where that expensive IV pump is. We, we, are, we are really trying to revolutionize and try to adapt that industry. And troubleshooting, right? We always need to know, as we were talking about with the 4800, capturing those packets on this floor in this room gives you more data than just capturing generally packets, knowing where they are. But the real key here is we want to open this up for everyone. Imagine being the salesforce.com or some other giant platform where lots of people can build applications based on reliable, defensible location information. That's the focus that why we bought July. That's why we want to change this industry. Because there's lots of great niche applications. Probably you guys have all seen, I've helped many of you work through, yeah, let's, let's do a solution for wayfinding at this one particular university. Or let's do another custom solution for asset tracking at this hospital. These custom solutions do not really get to the web scale that we really need to go to. And that's how we've been focusing with our July systems acquisition. A single device which can consume billions of location updates, provide machine learning to smarten that data set, and then a consistent API so that lots of people can write great applications. Think of all the new CRM applications that have been written as Salesforce has defined that sort of in, um, in, um, uh, API set. And so that's the, that's the direction that we're going for our strategy. We'll have two people talk about specific applications that <coughs> we're gonna show. But the idea again is this, Core location, either on premises <laughs> or, <laughs> or <laughs> in the cloud, calculated location that we can then provide it to multiple applications in a consistent manner. And Cisco itself, we're going to deliver two of those applications, which is uh, digitizing people, which is part of our CMX Engage, we're all kind of digital moving, <laughs> and digitizing things as part of operational insights.